we will discuss uh, two different variants of the queuing lock. Uh, the first one we'll talk about is the uh, array-based queuing lock, and this is uh, due to Anderson, and I'll refer to it as Anderson's lock uh, later on as well. Associated with each lock L is an array of flags, and the uh, size of this array is equal to the number of processes uh, in the SMP, so if you have a, um, an NVA uh, multiprocessor, then you have N elements in the circular uh, uh, flags array. And this uh, flags array serves as a circular queue for enqueuing the um, requesters that are requesting this particular lock L. So every lock has associated with it this flags array. And it's fairly intuitive that since we have at most we have n processes in this multiprocessor. We can have at most n requests simultaneously waiting for this particular lock. So the size of the data structure, the flags data structure, is equal to uh, n, where n is the number of processes in the multiprocessor. Now, each element in this flags array can be in one of two states. Uh, one state is the has lock state, and the other state is the must wait state. Has lock says that whoever is waiting on a particular slot has the lock. So if this particular entry, let's say, is HL, then that means that whichever processor happens to be waiting on this particular slot is the current winner of the lock and is using the lock. On the other hand, must wait is indicating that if a processor uh, f uh, has must wait as the entry in this particular element of the array and is waiting on this particular slot, that means that that processor has to wait. You guessed it, uh, there can be exactly one processor that can be in the HL happy state uh, because it's a mutually exclusive lock and therefore at most one processor can have the lock at a time and all the others uh, should uh, be waiting. And so what we do is in order to, when we get this lock, to initialize the lock, what we do is we initialize the lock uh, data structure, this array data structure, uh, the flags array data structure, which represents a circular queue by marking one slot as HL and all the others as must wait. An important point I want you all to notice is that the slots are not statically associated with any particular processor. As requesters come in, they're going to line up in this flags array at the spot that they get in the next available slot. The key point is that there is a unique spot that is available for every waiting processor, but it is not statically assigned. We'll see how uh, requests uh, get formed using this uh, circular queue in a minute. 